There are more than 30 construction projects in the buffer zone of St. Sophia. St. Sophia Cathedral in Kiev Pichersk, Lavra, 20 years in UNESCO. People of Kyiv ask UNESCO to request Ukrainian authorities to expand the St. Sophia's buffer zone from the Golden Gate to Khrushchev Street, including two jewels of Kyiv, the National Opera of Ukraine and the Russian Drama Theater. The World Heritage Committee deeply regrets that no moratorium has been put in place on a number of projects. High-rise buildings that could compromise the panorama of the historical monastic landscape along the Dnieper, 34th Session, Brasilia. Construction projects in the dangerous hydrogenological zone of St. Sophia Cathedral. state party to this convention recognizes that the duty of ensuring the identification, protection, conservation, presentation and transmission to future generations of the cultural and natural heritage referred to the Articles 1 and 2 and situated on its territory belongs primarily to that state. It will do to all it can do this end to the utmost of its own resources and, where appropriate, with any international assistance and cooperation, in particular financial, artistic, scientific and technical, which it may be able to obtain. The experts warn that any emergency water leakage in the hydrogenological zone of the conservancy area, which is 230 meters radius from its walls while the construction site is only 60 meters away, will inevitably result in the rise of groundwater levels, as it happened in 2006, when because of the emergency water leakage in a fitness center, the groundwater level rose by 2.6 meters in three months. There's only about 1.53 meter left to the deadline after which the bearing layer may begin to soak and thereafter the subsidence of the Saint Sophia Cathedral and the bell tower might begin. According to the experts, because of the total congestion of Saint Sophia groundwaters outflow by underground parking lots and piled foundations throughout the perimeter, deformation process that can be very destructive may begin within a few years. Besides being part of the buffer zone, the construction site on Honchara Street 1723 is situated on the territory of archaeological conservation site of national importance Kulturni Shar Grada Yaroslava. The Satina Church was the first stone church in Kyiv. It was built by the order of Vladimir the Great between 989 and 996. In the night of May 26, construction equipment was quietly brought to the territory of the ruins of the church and building preparations started. The Moscow Patriarchate priests, whose church was illegally built several years ago on the territory of the historical museum, openly declare their plans to raise modern temple on the ruins of the Satina church. The government helps the invaders and don't take any measures to stop illegal barbaric actions. <laughs> 